The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Hello everybody, welcome to the A-Team Challenge. I'm your host today, Robert Van Winkle. Very proud to be here again for the 2016 academic year and the A-Team Challenge. A 27-year partnership with NBC2, the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, and the Lee County School District. It's gonna be a great game today, and we are just starting, this is the first game of the quarterfinals of the A-Team Challenge this year. One of these two teams will move on to the semifinals and perhaps on to the final game. So we're gonna have a great time here today and again you can watch this game of course right now here on NBC2. You can also see it on Comcast Channel 99 and on CenturyLink Channel 89. We want to thank our other media partners here and also for the first time this year remember if you would like to watch a repeat of this game you can watch it on YouTube. We're posting the games to youtube.com forward slash Lee Schools TV and you can just search Lee County Public Schools on YouTube to find the games if you miss it. Students welcome to your game this afternoon. Uh, we will be answering or I'll be asking questions you'll be answering them in the subjects of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and some general knowledge questions. And as you can see, we have some fine students here. Uh, on my right, this is Bishop Vero High School. Bishop Vero uh, has been working their way up through the ranks uh, every year. They seem to get uh, farther and farther along, and now here they are at the quarterfinals. Donahue Academy, also a fine institution. They have worked hard this year as well, and the Donahue students, again, uh, now making it to the quarterfinals. Here's a summary of our rules. As we start our game today, uh, just a reminder for you folks at home, this is how we play the A-Team Challenge. There will be three rounds. The first round is five Five points, the second is 10, the third is 20 points. Students, remember there's no penalty for a wrong answer in the first three rounds. However, if you buzz in early and you miss the question, I'll finish the question for the other team. They will have an opportunity to hear that question in its entirety and perhaps steal the point away. So sometimes it's good advice to wait a little bit uh, if you're stealing the point to hear the whole question there. Okay, so again, uh, the final exam will consist of the teams plus their alternates and one of you will be moving on to the semifinals. Welcome again to these two fine schools, Bishop Verro High School, Donahue Academy. And students, if you're ready, here we go. We're going to play our first game of the quarterfinals in the 18 challenge. Each question worth five points. Let's start. In the Dickens novel, David Copperfield, David ends up running away from what cruel stepfather of his? All right, literature question starts us off. It's a Murdstone, Edward Murdstone. No points there. Next question for five. What two nations fought the 100 years war? Alex, Bishop Verreau. England and France. England and France gets you on the board to start. Five points, Bishop Verreau. Take the number of carbon atoms one of these substances has, double it, and add two to get its corresponding number of hydrogen atoms. It, contain, it consists of saturated hydrocarbons with single bonds. Name this type of organic compound, whose simple examples include methane, ethane, propane, all right, Alex Bishop Verreau. An alkane. An alkane, yeah, the last one was an n-butane in that group. You got it, five points, Bishop Verreau, alkane. When Congress passed a tax on distilled spirits in 1791, the result was a brief whiskey rebellion in America's then western frontier by those who didn't want to pay it. In what now eastern state did that rebellion take place? Robert Bishop Verreau. Massachusetts. Good, good try, Robert. Nope, not the one. Donahue, give it a shot. Somebody ring in. Reed. New York. Both good guesses. You're all around it, though it was Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Next question for five. What astronomical adjective comes from the Greek meaning sun-centered? Alex Bishop Verreau. Solar. No, sorry, not solar. Donahue. CJ. Heliocentric. Heliocentric is the proper response. Five points. You're on the board now. Donahue Academy. Next for five, during the period of Atlantic slave trade, in what type of slavery were people made to work because, uh, Julia Bishop Perot? Indentured servitude. 
Yes, because they, had, uh, they owed money to the master. Indentured servitude is proper response. Five points, Bishop Vareau. Next for five. Michael reads the newspaper every day for between 10 and 15 minutes, and each day for a week he notes the exact number of minutes in a table. At the end of the week he draws a horizontal graph that goes between 10 and 15 and puts an X above the number of minutes each time he sees it in the table. Give the two-word name for the specific type of graph he is making that Robert Bishop Rowe. Scatter plot. No, not scatter plot. Sorry, Donahue. It shows the vertical columns of X's. CJ. Bar graph? Nope. Good guesses. Both sides. A line graph. A line plot. Sorry. A line plot. That's what I needed to hear. Sorry. No points there. Next for five. After he threw himself into the Rhine River in 1854, he spent the rest of his life in an asylum without his beloved Clara. Name this romantic composer, most famous for his leader. Alex, you're in in time. Richard Wagner. Good try. Nope, not it. Donahue. Nope. Schumann. Robert Schumann. Robert Schumann. Next question for five. Which current Supreme Court justice was narrowly confirmed to the court in 1991 after a contentious hearing in which he was accused of sexual harassment? Uh, Reed, Donahue. Justice Thomas. That's correct. Clarence Thomas. Good, good job there, Reed. Donahue gets five points for that. Next for five. Today, it is dominated by shopping malls and by its Makkah Royal Clock Tower Hotel. Name this city in Saudi Arabia that faithful Muslims are encouraged, Alex, Bishop Vareau. Mecca. They're encouraged to visit there at least once in their lifetime. Mecca, five points, Bishop. American author Henry James is buried in what U.S. city, not far from Harvard University? Alex, Bishop. Cambridge. Cambridge, good job, five points more, Bishop Vareau. Next for five. What job is held by a person who is not an attorney, but performs many basic law-related tasks? Uh, Ali Bishop Vareau. Paralegal. A paralegal, that's right, for an attorney, and you got five points for that. In 2000, all right, that little signal is the indication that we've completed our first five-point round. Bishop Vareau's pulled ahead at 30. Donahue Academy, though, is still in there with 10 points. We're just getting started. Before we go to our first commercial break, let me introduce you to the players from Bishop Vareau High School. On my right, the first spot, this is Robert. Robert Voorhees is a senior this year, and he's been accepted to go to the University of Miami after, after high school. He wants to study biomedical engineering there. Robert, thanks for being a member of the A-Team for a number of years here. Good luck to you in the future. Next to Robert is Julia. Julia Canzano is a junior this year. Hopefully we'll see Julia again next year. As yet, she has undecided plans after high school. Julia, welcome to the A-Team. Back row is Alex, also a familiar face to the A-Team. Alex Simon uh, has been accepted to uh, Northwestern University. He's a senior this year. Uh, undecided plans as yet of what to study, but off to Northwestern. That's great. Rounding out the team is Allie. Allie Frazier is a senior as well, and she has been accepted to Georgetown, and she'll be going to Georgetown and studying biology. So welcome to Allie and Alex, Julia and Robert, the team from Bishop Burrow High School under the coaching of Lori Schreiner. Lori's been coaching the team for years is at Bishop Vareau and uh, does a great job. We'll be back and I'll introduce you to the Donahue Academy players in just a minute. Don't go away. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the executive director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has, to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students 
will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. Welcome back, this is the A-Team Challenge and we are now going to get ready to start our 10 point round. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to the players on my left here at Donahue Academy. In the first spot, no stranger to the A-Team here, CJ Smith has been around for a while. He's a senior this year though, so we'll wish him good luck in the future as he goes to Purdue. He's been accepted to Purdue University to study engineering. Next to CJ is Reed. Reed Law is a junior this year. We'll probably see him back here next year. He plans to go to the Naval Academy. That sounds like a great goal. Wants to study civil engineering as well. In the back row, we have a sophomore on this seat. This is Joseph. Joseph Pakalik would like to stay close to home and uh, go to Ave Maria University, study biology and organic chemistry. Rounding out the team from Donahue is Mark. This is Mark Sheck. Mark is a senior, and he also has been accepted to St. Louis University. He will be going off there to study aerospace engineering. Nice to see a whole group on both sides here of seniors accepted to the colleges uh, that they've applied to. Uh, so Mark, Joseph Reed, and CJ under the coaching of uh, Gretel Smith at Donahue Academy. All right, so here we go. Students, 10 points now up for grabs. Each question, let's get your hands on your buzzers and start. In 2015, the World Health Organization announced that this disease had been eradicated. Alex, Bishop Verreau? Polio. No, not polio. Maybe a little soon there. Donahue Academy, here's the rest of the question. The disease had been eradicated from the Americas. Name this illness, sometimes called German measles. No, you are in just in time, uh, CJ. Okay, let's go for Ebola. No. That's okay. Good guess there. It was rubella. Rubella. Next question for 10 is a math question. Your first one, it's on the screen. Take a look and you may begin. Find the smallest angle of an isosceles triangle if it is 48 degrees smaller than the two larger congruent angles. And we give the students pencil and paper and calculators to solve our math questions here. We also give them a few extra seconds to see uh, how, the, uh, how the results come out. Bishop Verreau, Donahue Academy, working hard here. And Robert's in, Bishop. 44. Good, nope, sorry, Robert, not 44. Mark. 66. No, not 66. It was 28. 28 was the proper response. You can work it out in the break, see if you get it right next time. That's all right. Next question for 10. Listen up, listen. In the King Arthur Legends, what's the first name shared by Lancelot's mother and by Lancelot's lover, who gives birth to his son, Reed Donahue. Guinevere? No, sorry, incorrect. Bishop Verreau, he, she gives birth to Lancelot's son, Galahad. Alex? Genevieve? Nope, not that one either. Um, the mother and the mother of his son, Galahad, that were both named Elaine. Elaine. Guinevere was the romantic love off on the side. All right, so no points rewarded there. Considered the magnetic equivalent of Coulomb's law, it, you, its use requires an integral to calculate a magnetic field B generated by a current. Identify this law of physics that shows how magnetic field always decreases with the square of the distance from the current and is named for the two French scientists who shared its discovery. a long question, wasn't it? Bio Savar. Bio Savar was the name of the law. Next question for 10. The last chapter of his work, The Marble Fawn, is set in Italy and called Miriam Hilda Kenyon Donatello, after its four main characters. Name this American author of The House of Seven Gables and The Scarlet C.J. Donahue. Uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne? Yeah, and he wrote The Scarlet Letter as well. Nathaniel Hawthorne, 10 points, Donahue. What past Oscar winner for Best Picture is a movie version of the Broadway musical by Kander and Ebb? Alex, Bishop of Rowe. Chicago. Yeah, good. The two fem main female characters are both murderers. Named for U.S. City, Chicago. Ten points. Bishop. They do not have synapses and can't generate action potentials, but most of the human brain is made of these cells that are found only in the brain and the nervous system. Julia, Bishop of Rowe. Ganglia. 
Yes, that is correct. Glia or Galia, that's correct. Uh, 10 points, Bishop Vero. Next for 10. To His Excellency George Washington was one of the many poems written by what 18th century black poetess? Julia, Bishop Vero. Phyllis Wheatley. Good job, Julia. Phyllis Wheatley is right. 10 more points, Bishop. Next for 10. Give the nine letter word for the set of old xylem cells that die in the center of a tree. Heartwood, heartwood. Next for 10, give the term from pottery that means to create a pot from rope-like shapes of soft clay that stack, Alex, Bishop Vero. Coil. Yeah, coiling, they stack on top of each other just like that. Good job, 10 points, Bishop Vero. Next for 10, what South American country that became independent from Holland in 1975 has a capital at Paramaribo, Paramaribo? Robert, Bishop Vero. Suriname. Yeah, Robert, good job. Uh, 10 points, Bishop Vero. That's right, Suriname. Next for 10. The 1915 British novel, The Good Soldier, begins, this is the saddest story I've ever heard. Name its author, whose first name and last name are the same. Robert, Bishop Vero. Adam, Adam. <laughs> uh, might as well pick one, right? <laughs> Not it. Donahue. CJ. John, John. <laughs> Good try, both sides. How about Ford, Ford? You ever heard of Ford, Ford? All right. Next for 10 is a math question. Look at your screen. In standard scientific notation, what is 4 times 10 to the minus 2 divided by 5 times 10 to the minus 8? Standard scientific notation, Robert. 2 times 10 to the 11th. Nope, sorry. Nope, that's not right. CJ. 8 times 10 to the 5th. 8 times 10 to the 5th, Donahue Academy gets 10 points for that one. And right in time there at the end of the 10-point round. All right, so uh, Bishop Vero, Donahue Academy, continue to duke it out. Donahue, you're still a bit behind, but do not give up heart because each question is going to be worth 20 points when we come back. The 20-point round of the A-Team Challenge, first game of the quarterfinals, is up next. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Welcome back. Donahue Academy at 30. Bishop Vero out ahead at 80 points, but now each question's worth 20. So let's see how we do. Here we go. For 20 points, in mythology, Perseus is most famous for cutting off the head of what Mark Donahue? Uh, Cerberus? No, sorry, incorrect. Uh, Alex? Medusa. Yep, cutting off the head of what Gorgon, whose face would turn you to stone? Medusa, 20 points, Bishop Vero. After destroying Greece, he asked Rome only for land where his people could live. But when the Roman Emperor Flavius Honorius kept refusing, he installed Attalus as the new emperor of Rome. Name this king of the Visigoths who laid siege to Rome three different times before finally sacking the city in 410 A.D. Joe Donahue. Attila. Nope. Sorry, incorrect. Good try. Bishop, Robert? Uh, the Huns. Nope, not Attila or the Huns. Alaric. Alaric was the name of that, uh, that guy. All right, next for, next for t uh, 20. Give the term from astronomy for the shift in a star's position when the star is viewed from different locations. Alex, Bishop Vero. Parallax. Parallax is the proper response. 20 points, Bishop Vero. In uh, 2015, President Obama visited what African country where some of his relatives live? Read, Donahue. Kenya. Kenya is the proper response. 20 points, Donahue. The Japanese economy has suffered from it for most of the last 20 years. And America's Fed has been trying to prevent this situation by quantitative easing, or basically printing money. Identify this economic... Alex Bishop Vero. Inflation. 
No, sorry, incorrect, Bishop Verreau. Donahue, here's the rest of the question. Identify this economic term for a consistent decrease in prices of goods and services, the opposite of inflation. Mark Donahue. Deflation. Deflation is the proper response. 20 points, Donahue. All right, next question for 20. American General Douglas MacArthur spent the first years after World War II in command of Allied forces occupying what country? C.J. Donahue. Korea. No, sorry, not Korea. Good try, Bishop. Uh, Alex is in. Japan. Japan is the proper response. 20 points for Bishop. Next for 20. In computer science and math, what type of function has its future values defined in terms of its previous values? Robert Bishop Rowe. Summation. Good try, Robert. Nope, not it. Donahue. Recursion or recursive. Recursive. Okay, next for 20. Give the term from interior design for deliberately damaging new clothing or furniture so it looks older, more worn, and Ali Bishop Verreau. Distressing. Say again, Ali. Distressing. Distressing is what you said, and that is right. 20 points, Bishop Verreau. The National Road, the first road ever built by the U.S. federal government, had its western end in the town of Vandalia, in the southern part of what Midwestern state? C.J. Donahue. California? No, not that long of a road. Bishop Verreau, Robert. Indiana? Nope, that's a good guess. You're closer. Illinois was Illinois. Next question for 20. Found in seaweed and kelp, what chemical element is often added to salt so that Alex, Bishop Verreau. Chlorine. Nope, sorry. Donahue, uh, he said chlorine, that's not right. So the human thyroid glands will work properly. Mark, give it a shot. Iodine. Yes, Mark, good, good job. 20 points, Donahue, iodine. Next for 20. In algebra, a set of two equations in two unknowns is described by what adjective if there's no x, y pair that solves both equations? Robert, Bishop Perot. Parallel lines. No, sorry, incorrect. Not parallel lines. Donahue. Uh, CJ. Uh, imaginary. Both, both good tries. No, inconsistent. Inconsistent is what I needed there. Next for 20. The Sixth Symphony of Haitor Villa Lobos honors the mountains of what South American country where he was born? Uh, Alex, Bishop Perot. Chile. Chile is a good try, and that's not the right country. Donahue, CJ. Uh, Peru. And it's not Peru either. Brazil. Brazil. Next for 20. Which Henry James novel tells of Isabel Archer and her unhappy marriage to Gilbert Ormond? The answer to that is Portrait of a Lady. Portrait of a Lady. All right, and that signals the end of our three rounds, the 20-point round. Terminating now with 160 points at Bishop Verreau, 90 points in Donahue now. So this is not necessarily a runaway, depending on wagering and depending on how you do in the final category. Make your wagers based on how you think you will do in the subject of science. Science is the final one. When we come back, we'll find out which one of these two very fine teams is headed to the semifinals. Don't go away. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a take stock in children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact that can't be measured. Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337 0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org.
by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Welcome back to this conclusion of the 18 Challenge today. The, fa the fine match between Bishop Vero High School Donahue Academy is about to conclude. Before we do that and uh, reveal what the students have been working on, let me introduce you to the alternates who've been working with the uh, four main players here uh, to answer the final question. We'll start with Bishop Vero on this side. Uh, right next to me here is Junko. Junko Nelson is a senior this year. She's still waiting to hear back from USC, but she would like to go there and study uh, civil engineering. Junko, good luck to you in the future. And in the middle there is Tiffany. This is Tiffany Matea. Tiffany is a senior also. She has been accepted to the University of Tampa and will be studying forensic science. All right, so that's the Bishop Vero team with the alternates. Here comes the Donahue side. Uh, next to me here is Claire, Claire Gurney. Is that no? No, you're in the. There's Claire. Which one's Claire? Wave so I can see you. That's her. Thank you. <laughs> Claire Guernsey's a sophomore and she wants to go to Ave Maria University and study education. This is Caroline, Caroline Takuda. Uh, she's a sophomore and she also will stay close to home, go to Ave Maria, wants to uh, explore other various majors uh, in her career there in, in college. Okay, so good job both sides. Let's see the question now that you've been working on uh, today. In the subject of science, I think this one's a pretty complicated one, but here it is. One mole of acetyl chloride reacts with one mole of diatomic oxygen to produce a mole of water, a mole of hydrochloric acid, and a certain amount of another compound. So three parts to the answers. All three parts must be right to give you credit. These are the answers that we need to see. Carbon monoxide, CO. The other uh, uh, moles, uh, the answer is two. And uh, pretty straightforward here, the answer to the third question is 314. All right, so we'll start with Donahue, the team coming in with the least amount of points always goes first. Donahue Academy has 90 points going into the round. Their answer sheet, uh, unfortunately, is, uh, has to be deemed incorrect. Uh, you missed all three of them, actually. So it will take you down uh, to 90, from 90 points. You wagered 90, so that does take you down to zero. By the way, you had to wager all of it, so you did the right thing there, but uh, you are at zero at, the, at this time. Bishop Vero on this side, uh, your responses are one, two, and three, all good, uh, correct on that. You ended up wagering 30 points. That brings you to 190. So Bishop Vero High School will move on to the semifinals. Give them a round of applause. And as we do, it's a tradition at the A-Team. We uh, get up and congratulate uh, each side. So that's what we'll do now, and thanks for watching. We'll have another game coming right up. Don't go away.